My name is Peter Randall Page. I'm a sculptor and I've lived uh, on the edge of Dartmoor, near the Teen Valley, for nearly 35 years. My interest really is, um, is the natural world. My work's always been informed and inspired by natural phenomena. I draw a lot. I, I draw all the time, all kinds of different sorts of drawings. I always carry a sketchbook in my pocket. Very often I um, stop and do some sketches and I might be drawing water boatmen, I might be drawing some of the sort of reflections in the water or um, some of the plant forms that grow along the bank of the river. I also do drawings that are just objective drawings from, from nature, looking at things. It's one of the best ways, as far as I'm concerned, of studying something. If you actually try and draw it, you look so much more intensely than you do if you just look at it. So drawing has always been a very important part of what I do. I've been asked to be part of something called the River Teen Restoration Project, which has been set up to really try and nurture the health of the river and all its wildlife and all the life that it supports. The idea is to involve young people in really um, engaging with and appreciating the magic and the beauty of the river and particularly with the life cycle of the of the salmon and the sea trout that have this extraordinary life where they live partly in the river and, and partly in the sea and then they come back to their original river to breed. So I'm hoping the children will make imaginative drawings, simple drawings of fish um, and then uh, we'll look at those drawings and the idea is that they come, some of those will be translated into low relief carvings on pieces of granite which will be near the places in the river where you might see salmon um, and uh, also that possibly those uh, low relief carvings based on the children's drawings uh, will be possible to go and make rubbings uh, from them. So there'll be things that the children have directly been engaged with and that has come from the children in response to the river and they will be positioned along the river and my hope is that through doing that that not only will the children become engaged and involved on an emotional level but also that their parents and their friends and their aunts and uncles and grandparents will also be drawn into this um, involvement with really understanding and caring about, uh, about what goes on in that river. And most importantly, you know, the, the whole project is to do with improving the river for the wildlife. Well, there's a fantastic uh, variety of wildlife there. There are dippers, which are wonderful little birds that uh, go from rock to rock uh, up and down the river. Um, there, there are otters, actually, although you'd be very lucky to see otters. There's, of course, trout, uh, brown trout, um, sea trout and salmon, and all the things that those fish rely on to live. So all the insect life, all the, the um, invertebrates that, that live in the river. I'm hoping that my contribution to this very important project um, is to engage people uh, in terms of their feelings about the river because it's all very well to know in your head that rivers are very important, that the health of rivers are very important and that if we lose the health of rivers we lose something uh, absolutely invaluable and irreplaceable. I think it's really important that people engage um, with their emotion, with their feeling and to celebrate this incredible uh, resource and um, just beauty that we're lucky enough to live very close to.